Hi Aries, welcome to May 2018. This is your general reading, so we're going to cover your general theme, what's up for money, what's up for career, how other people are going to maybe improve your month, or how they're going to fuck it up. Um, and then also, what kind of aspects should you be focused on in order to spiritually have the happiest month ever? And then what is your power crystal of the month? And I'm excited about this one. So let's go ahead and get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Aries, this is for Aries sun, moon, or rising. And by the way, I didn't forget about um, including love into your reading. It's just that I'm doing those separately. So watch out for your love readings coming up in the next week or so. Okay. So generally this month, what is the theme? Greater fulfillment. Awesome. Awesome. So when we are super spiritually connected, we start to notice like the beauty in things, right? Um, you feel more creative, you feel happier, a deeper inner peace, like things, um, see how this is like red correlating to the root chakra? Things that would maybe not make you feel so comfortable before don't bother you as much actually. So like when we're spiritually switched on, we have a lot more happiness and fulfillment in all areas. Like even if our circumstances don't change, we just feel better, okay? So this is where we wanna focus on. We wanna focus this month on like where can we feel more, um, safe and secure and just happy about things as they are. So don't let that scare you and make you think it's going to be a bad month. It's just like areas I feel like recently you might have had like sort of a hard time and maybe this is like you starting to shift out of that. I guess we'll see, right? Okay, so what's going on in regards to your money? Okay, so this is not a time where like seeds that you planted just start to like pop up out of the ground and you know things finally start paying off. It's also not a time when you want to be starting um, new investments or new business ideas or anything like that. It doesn't mean the time's not coming, but it's not May 2018. Um, and intuitively, you probably know this. You know that right now you've got to just kind of work with what you have. I don't know if you saw that little angel orb right there, but that's confirmation and affirmation right there that this is exactly what you know. Your third eye is telling you. You're receiving messages, whether you're tuned into that or not. They're trying to tell you that, you know, just be content with what you have right now. That's how we're able to better manifest new things into our life. First, we have to feel comfortable with where we're at before the universe dares give us more, right? Like you wouldn't continue to give gifts or money to somebody who never said thank you. You just wouldn't. And so that's kind of where we're coming from, like feeling content and safe with what we doing the best with what we have is going to get us more. OK, so it's not about plotting, planning, scheming, changing anything up in order to receive more, except for maybe our attitude and our level of contentment with where we are in regards to money. Now, for some of you, that's going to mean you're you're cool as a, cu as a cucumber with money. Like money's easy for you. You have tons of it and it's not going anywhere. And so awesome for you, but not every single Aries is going to be in that position. And so I'm um, kind of just making the best with what you have. Okay. Like, cause it could always be worse is basically the attitude they want you to adopt. They're saying like uh, some of you have some abundance blocks, like your um, relationship to money isn't super positive. And so um, instead of like wasting a ton of time in this video, I'm just going to refer you to Christy Marie Sheldon. You just want to look up on YouTube her videos on abundance blocks and that should help you to work through a lot of those and kind of get your heart chakra open to receiving more funds. <laughs> okay. In regards to career, what does May look like? Oh, um, side note, this is going to be I just I kind of want to tell you about your crystals now, but I'm gonna wait till the end. Um, they will actually help you to attract more money. So, spoiler alert. Um, okay, 
So career, it doesn't feel like your career is really going anywhere, like it's not moving, like things aren't changing right now, but this is also a time when you're not supposed to switch it up. Now, why is that? Because success is coming for you, it's just not coming necessarily in May, okay? And the thing is, is that um, you're not, a lot of you Aries are just not super connected to your spirituality right now. And so a lot of you Aries probably won't even watch this video. Maybe somebody else is watching it for you and then they're going to send it to you or something like that. But the point is, is like the universe isn't really conspiring to give you great things in an immediate sort of capacity, partially because you're probably not asking for it, partially because you're not expressing gratitude. Okay. So those are two things that you want to focus on. Um, it's saying like, that's where the imbalance is coming from. Okay. Anything that doesn't feel like it's right or it's normal or it's like what you want or it feels like sort of out of whack or unstable, that's the reason why. If you're to make those two simple tweaks, all of a sudden things become easier for you, okay? And so um, they're saying specifically you can just ask in your head or out loud like, hey, angels, like because everybody's got a minimum of two guardian angels. I need a little support here. I need a little help. And they will definitely help you with that, okay? Whether you get um, signs through numbers or through animals or through like a song you get stuck in your head, that's, they're going to help you, I promise. But you have to trust that. You have to believe it and you have to ask for it. Okay, how are other people going to improve your May? And they're saying, um, well, nobody's like going for a power grab, right? Nobody is threatening your authority or, um, you know, calling any of that sort of stuff into question. So that's a really good thing. Um, how else are they going? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold. How um, else are they going to improve your month? And they're like, honestly... Nobody's going to ask you for anything major. Nobody's going to ask you to um, do them like a really ridiculous favor, to give them a loan, to pick up their shifts. Um, and so by people just kind of not doing things is going to make your your month better, really. So in the event that people do do these things anyway, even though your energy isn't exactly right for them to do that, feel okay with saying no. Don't overstretch yourself. Um, so... How are people going to come in and try to potentially ruin your month? And it's like, um, they might try to tell you to change. They might try to ask you to make changes. Or people in your life that um, are close to you might not be making the changes that you need for them to make. Like, especially in love relationships. It'll be interesting when we do your love reading to see how this all plays out if you're coupled. Um... But ultimately, things not changing might become a little bit uncomfortable for you and for others. Um, but this consistency is sort of key in this month, like because it's part of our lesson of greater fulfillment, right? We've got to feel secure with where we're at before things start changing in a positive direction. Now, what area of your spirituality should you focus on in order to have the happiest May ever? And they're like, actually pay attention to astrology. Um... If you are into that, I mean, it does seem overwhelming, right? But reading articles based on whatever area of your life you might need that in, whether that is a career, you might want to look at your rising sign. If it's love, you want to look at your moon sign or your Venus sign in general, like with other people, um, or just how you're currently feeling your sun sign. <coughs> Pay attention to what's going on with that, okay? Now, your crystal, the crystal of the month. We've got peacock ore, okay? So it does come in all of these different kind of colors. So this one's blue. We've got a purple one and a little pinky one. Aren't they cute? So what do these do? They give you greater mental stimulation and insights. Um, it heals any doubt that you have, any fear. It manages any thoughts of risk. So this is going to be very helpful, like I was saying, in order to sort of try to manifest the things that we want. It gets rid of any energy blocks. Um, hello, abundance blocks we talked about. And actually, this will be very, very effective in getting rid of abundance blocks just because it does have some sort of pyrite flex in here, um, that gold, which is all about attracting abundance. Um, it protects you from psychic attacks. It gets rid of tummy aches, like if you set it on your stomach. Um, it's kind of like a general disinfectant for um, the room. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll help harmonize your spiritual energies. It'll help you to ground. It actually makes your spine feel better. It helps with alignment of all your chakras, um, but as well as your spine. 
And it just kind of like balances things out. It helps you to feel calm and soothed. It does a ton more shit. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about it, there's a link in the description box below to my website where you can learn about it, where you can get one. And that's your May. I'll see you soon for love. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!